What's happening? It's Sir William, and today we are preparing for Hurricane Florence. Now, here's the good news. We had already planned on going to Kentucky uh, in LBL, which is land between the lakes. So, the good news is we're not going to be here for the storm. Now, the not-so-planned news we're gonna to have to bring these heathens with us. The issue lies in this. We wanted to use the camper um, to be quick and easy. So we're gonna get the teleco late at night and we were just gonna camp out in the truck and that's no big deal when the camper's functioning like it's supposed to. What the camper's uh, design did not include was these heathens. So it's going to be interesting nonetheless. So stay tuned. What we didn't get to catch was Christy falling down. These rocks are pretty slippery. Anyway, that's our view this morning. Not bad, right? Y'all know what I need. I need some packs from a little mountain goat right here. That's what I need. He can carry up all of our stuff. Do they make like a tactical pack for Pumbaa? Oh, and I need a new tag. He's, he's rocking Bonnie's tag. <laughs> so, this is our actual campsite. And uh, we decided that we were going to bring big tent and the reason is is because we got company yep these guys see my little four-legged dodo bird friends you'll notice Pumba over there eating the grass Bonnie looking for a suitable piece of grass to eat there she goes yeah that's them Good morning, what's happening? So we just left the campsite. It is now 12.30. We got to sleep in a little bit today because one, uh, we didn't get to the campsite until what time, about 2, 2.30? Yeah, about 2.30, 3 o'clock. So we got there late. The reason is, is because we were running from Hurricane Florence. Not really running because we were in the direct path, but um, we wanted to get out of town before it got too messy. Um, that being said, we did have to bring the heathens with us. We brought Pumbaa and Bonnie, but they've done very well so far, so uh, that should be fun. We're on, uh, this road is called Witt Road, and it's off of Highway 68, I believe, um, in Teleco Plains, Tennessee. It's a nice little halfway mark between uh, home and land between the lakes, which is where we're going. As you can see, there's a few water crossings. Uh, Four-wheel drive is needed, but there's a beautiful campsite on it, and here's what that looks like. It's not bad, right? I can't complain. So we spent the morning going to the beautiful uh, falls, as you can see. And uh, they're called falls for many reasons. One, because water falls down it. Two, Christy can't walk on it without falling. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. So Christy uh, landed on her same elbow that she fractured in a, in a horse riding deal. But luckily, uh, not on the same way. So we're good to go there. Good bit of water crossings in this. 
which is nice. Um, but this is just a beautiful area. All of Teleco Plains is like this. Highly recommend you come out here. Uh, you will need four-wheel drive. That's commonly a question. Do I need four-wheel drive? Yes, you will need four-wheel drive on here, especially if it's been raining uh, and the high clearance. Chrissy says she slammed down on the rocks and was suspended in the air for about a minute. That's what it felt like. I felt like, oh, I'm missing her. <laughs> <laughs> and then mad at me because I ain't immediately asked her if she was okay. I didn't even see her. I didn't even see her fall. No, you looked at me like you had just saw a ghost or something. You're just standing there. <laughs> Trying to figure out why the hell you decided to take a seat on the damn. <laughs> <laughs> the dog ain't no help. <laughs> she didn't even help you up, did she? No. She didn't help me up last time either. Damn, Bonnie. Maybe it's her. Maybe she fed you. She just something. looks at you too. She looks at you worse than I do. <laughs> like, what are you doing down there? Would you quit messing around? Would you stop embarrassing me? Stop embarrassing me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's looking now. Yeah. That's funny. This sure is pretty here. I know there's a storm in South Carolina, but in North Carolina, but you wouldn't be able to tell here, could you? Yeah. Brush, around. I don't know if the trees are down because they've had bad storms or if they've come through and cut them, but I don't, it's really, it's kind of hard to tell. It's definitely been something been changed through here. I want y'all to look at Bonnie. She's giving Chrissy this look like, <laughs> have you had enough? Are well, you ready to go home? Can we go back now? I'm ready to go home, <laughs> get on my damn couch, and watch some TV. You got me back here with this stanky ass Pumbaa. He's wet. He's on my damn pillow. And I'm cramped. I'm tired of it. So Christy and I are looking for that. That's, that's what we want. But we want it to be kind of like the same setup that we have now, about 30, 45 minutes from the big city. But that. And I know you guys can't see it in the background there, but there's mountains. And they're pretty. I was going to take you guys to show you this water crossing, and, uh, but somehow or another I missed it. I don't know where it's at. So we, we don't get to see it today. Christy just reminded me of the most biggest of the key of reasons as to why I want to move here. And that is, there ain't no damn nets. God, finally. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. No nets. That's Pumba, y'all. Okay. Chilling. Not a care in the world. Running all over Bonnie's poor little ass. Just trampling, stepping, slobbering, and spitting. God. He's like Beethoven. He's such a boy. Everybody always asks about the money situation. This is definitely the most expensive part of overlanding. The gas. And the problem is, is some gas costs, uh, you know, 240 And then some gas costs, uh... 280. It's crazy. When you get so much stuff inside your gutters, the plants start growing inside. <laughs> How does that even happen, man? Golly. See, real overlanders, I mean like the real deal overlanders, we stop at Crystal's, eat burgers out the back of our 
built up rigs. So that over there is the reason, the precise reason, that I don't want to be in a big city. It's been like that. That's actually the lightest that we've seen it for miles and miles. This is outside of Nashville. Damn net. Let me check it out. Jeez.